Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to the Crypto Logic Podcast. My name is Mike. This is your co-host, John, and we are here to help make crypto logical for you. All right. So if this is your first time landing on our channel, let me break it down a little bit, give you some understanding of what you can learn from this podcast. All right. So first things first, we go over the market settlement, give you guys some understanding of where the entire crypto space is. Then we're going to go over the news of the day, give you some perspective of what's going on around the crypto space. Then we're going to give you more perspective with the tweets of the day, giving you, um, you know, things that we believe um, is useful for you. Um, and then last but not least, we go into the market gainers and losers. So it's definitely an action packed show. If you guys want to stick around, then definitely do so. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video really does Please help like us the video. out. Please All like right? the video. So like moving it. on to the market sediment. There we go. All right, guys. So as you guys can see, we are actually up from yesterday. We were at, what, 206 yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah. we we're actually super red. Now we're actually in the green, which is a good thing. 2.1. Bitcoin is actually going up, up again finally a thousand but see that that billion dollars that came up to from that 2.06 to 2.114 like mm -hmm. most of that money is coming from other places yeah we, we've always mentioned ethereum mentioned. ethereum is one of solana. them you know solana did solana lap yep solana lapped xrp, XRP. yeah we said we called that too uh, we called that we literally said that yesterday that we were thinking uh, that solana million. was going to Gonna yeah, so the, over, that's uh, good XRP. that the market's rising and it's not because of Bitcoin. Yeah, so like we Bitcoin went up a thousand bucks, but it, you know, like we that, said that yesterday on the podcast yeah. that you know, Bitcoin though it's doing whatever it's doing, the altcoins are starting to yeah show. They're starting to sh sh break away from the the oh if Bitcoin does well, everything else does well. It's starting to break away from that, and there's like tokens that are proving that it doesn't matter what Bitcoin does, like DXV and Quant. It doesn't matter what Bitcoin does, Ethereum, right yeah man it's pretty it's pretty dope it's pretty interesting to see you know i mean right now yeah, bitcoin's dominance like is at around 41 percent lower but the last time we talked about it was 42 43. yeah yeah so it's 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 moving a little bit Two, oh, We're oh there. solana passed 200 that's why yeah solana's at 200 something yet. <laughs> yeah solana's at 200 it's crazy huh is that all-time high uh let me see all-time high for solana is it 200 like yeah. was that today like uh, where is it oh here yeah all time high 214 today yeah today, that was today 14 hours ago. hours ago damn that's where all that money came from let's see that's why so i'm telling solana is going to be a thousand dollar uh crypto you called that on it's going to be a thousand dollars for sure so right now if you even if you think it's too expensive it's actually probably yesterday was probably a great time to buy because it's probably never going to go under a hundred dollars but i can see it being right there in the top five right like right next underneath ethereum and cardano i just feel like tether shouldn't be so freaking high it's just because they have I the mean, reserves that's why i, I, I the get the reserve in the market cap and all of that but i mean this is a stable coin fam this needs to be lower in my in yeah. just my honest XRP opinion will, will take the, it'll be the top five the top five will be bitcoin ethereum cardano solana and xrp for sure i like that actually i like that um xrp is up a little bit um about a a, a percent from where it was yesterday not doing too much, you know what I'm saying? It's just in a weird kind of consolidation phase, which is fine, man. You know, we're going to we're going to head back up to that dollar 45, dollar 50 range <laughs> soon. Get on a so $2 tip. Not not too much worried about XRP. All right. Moving on to uh some really bullish news in the entire crypto space. A lot of people are talking about this right now. Um which is the the SEC Coinbase kind of lawsuit type thing, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, especially the XRP community has been reaching out to coinbase in support of them saying like hey guys you know we're here to support you maybe if we you know if we can get our army around you guys you can relist yeah. us you know what i'm saying so you know we'll see if the, that will be pretty interesting the xrp army knows what coinbase is gonna go through just uncertainty yeah. stupid uh rebuttaling and all that stuff where well coinbase now no clarity they're thinking about going on the offensive like you know what Screw well, it. yeah, that's, that's what the CEO said at the end of the, his tweet ran. He's like, hey, we go to like, hey, I'd, I'd, I'd rather us go to court. So at least we can get some clarity. Like yeah. he's not afraid. Yeah. He's been playing nice guy, Mr. Obedient to the uh, the government, the SEC, the yeah. SEC. And then they're still trying to sue him. So he's like, all right, well, sue us then. At exactly. least now we'll actually get clarity for the whole crypto space. You want to over here just trying to be a dark cloud over the crypto space. Nah. 
Man. And stop innovation, stop growth, and stop people from making money. That's a big problem right now. That's a huge problem. All these problem. other companies like Celsius and Block, well, BlockFi is getting sued now, but Celsius and Nexo and all these companies that KuCoin, they, they've KuCoin's been doing it. Yeah, but you can make money off of your crypto. And yeah. the SEC is like stopping that like growth of having people convert to cryptocurrency right and it ke it's keeping people away it's keeping yeah. people like oh this is get sued. i got people asking me should i do should i stop using coinbase i'm like no it's not, they're not yeah. getting sued to where they're gonna shut down they're just exactly. getting sued to where it's like like coinbase has to pay fees and stuff that's all it is yeah they just want they just want, they want their, their hand in the pot so they can get some money but mark cuban basically calls for an aggressive rebuttal to that man he's like look he even tweeted about it he said brian this is regulation versus litigation they aren't capable of working through them through this themselves and are afraid of making mistakes in doing so they they will typo they, then, they yeah should, should be, be they then they then leave it to the lawyers this is exactly just the people you don't want yeah. impacting new technology because they don't understand it yeah you have to go on the offensive you have to just be like you know what screw it let's go to court yeah, that, and that's, that's the thing. It's it says right there at the bottom. It's better for the industry that they take on the SEC rather than the SEC go after a small, decentralized entity and get a quick judgment that becomes the law of the land before the DeFi. So that's basically them saying go after a giant company like Coinbase instead of them going after like a small like mom and pop exchange. And the mom and pop exchange is like, well, we can't afford to continue to fight and exactly. pay all this money to the lawyers and and go back and forth with you. And that's what the SEC will do. Bully they'll, him, yeah. they'll, they'll, they'll be like, oh, we're going to rebuttal this. We don't want to give you these documents. And then, like, that's more hours for the lawyers to re draft up a reply. And it's just back and forth, back and forth, back. And that costs money, right? And that's yeah. funded by the government. They have unlimited, unlimited money. Unlimited budget. But, but they do need to get paid off for settlements and stuff, right? But that's why they, most of their cases usually always end up in settlement. Yeah, But 100%. if they go after a small exchange and then that small exchange is like oh, we can't afford to keep going back and forth you okay what do we want what do you want us to do and then the as he's like well do this do this and then we'll agree to settlement and then they settle and he's saying that 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 shouldn't be the the test that shouldn't be the standard for what uh to, to, what is it displays regularity for the crypto space yeah he's like it needs to be coinbase someone like coinbase that's a public company that goes to war with the sec and says no you guys are wrong and why you are you suing us and then basically push back against the SEC and stop them from just devouring the you know what i mean because they, they didn't do this in the internet era right the the president in the internet era told the feds stay away from the internet let let it blossom and look at what it came to today exactly but this time around they're not doing that this time yeah, around they know how much money they, yeah. potentially they will miss they, did, they missed out on it before exactly and they don't want history to repeat it repeat itself and it's crazy because because not to make it it's 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 i don't know i don't want to get into that but it's a whole you would think that whoever is in is in president right now like yeah who's in this office right now on that side uh -huh. if, if you look at just step take take a step back usually that side will be the side that's like allows innovation right i don't know you, you would want innovation you know because then that's your legacy as a president if you think yeah. about it but, but i know. feel like i feel like it's just so much of the letting these that like the sec is just i'm constantly just seeing that we need to protect the investors we need to go after these bad criminals we need why are you going after coinbase <laughs> thousands and millions of people use been using coinbase and it's a public company that yeah. yield thing is not anything shady. It's just, it just doesn't I, make sense I just, to me. I just think they're trying to protect the banks, man. Because think about it. If you can get 4% from Coinbase, well, yeah. why would you put I your mean, money in the I bank? Yeah. I mean, I would rather when I get my, like I say, a uh, job, right? I mean, like when I have a, if I had a job. Yeah. Because we have, we have like our own income because we're like entrepreneurs. But like if someone had a job right. and they got a direct deposit, like, like me personally, I would, my direct deposit, I'll just have it go. As soon as I got paid, I would just put it over my coinbase exactly but that's that's why the sec is like we have to protect the banks because people are people will do that and they're like the banks are going to eventually start losing money because they're not going to have any money for them to to lend out yeah, to other people it's just stupid they're just it's kind of crazy man if you really think about how the like the all what could transpire from this it, you can literally go on and on after scenario 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 i don't know what's gonna it's crazy gonna happen like if they go to Court and I'd say go to court, man. Go to court. I mean, w hopefully the XRP case will be done soon, and we will then have some some type of clarity. Yeah, maybe, that, hopefully, that potentially. Was, 
but we'll see. That just will depend on what happens, depending on the XRP case. Because the XRP goes, goes in Ripple's favor, then it's like, all right, whatever Ripple did is not considered security. Um, that means that's good news for a lot of cryptos that kind of did what Ripple did. Yeah. You know, a, I mean, lot of, a lot of cryptos won't have to hide in the shadows anymore. Exactly. In regards of market, uh, marketing, um, speaking up and allowing them to, allowing investors to, hey, buy our cryptocurrency. You know, a lot of these cryptos are like Digibyte. They're, they're just under the radar. Yeah. Lot, there's a lot of them out there. Thousands of cryptos that are just, don't, don't look at us. We're just doing our thing. We're slowly building an infrastructure, but don't look at us. I mean, uh, you know what I mean? Can you blame them though? You know what I'm saying? Where people are getting sued left and yeah. right. Like I, me personally, I would, I would not, if I was like an owner of a cryptocurrency, I would want to fly under the radar too. Yeah. Cause it's like, there's a if lot you, of them if you there. get hit with a lawsuit from the SEC, what goes through your mind automatically is like, oh damn, it's over. But you know what I'm saying? My, my thing that is like, this is like a theory is think about all the cryptos that probably have lots of partnerships lined up think about all like google what if google has a list of all the cryptocurrencies that they're like damn we can't wait to start working with them as soon as there's clarity right we just can't wait to help them uh we can't wait to use their blockchain technology to help us grow and work together and announce these partnerships because google has a few announcements but i they feel like the announcements if you notice are all against cryptos that you know are going to be fine even with clarity right right, right? We, yeah, even, yeah. even with when regulation comes in i mean right right and that's like the big big dog cryptos but there's probably a lot of little mom and pop cryptos that google amazon microsoft um facebook like a lot of those that are like okay well once there's regulatory clarity we're gonna announce these partnerships and fund them like that's what it is yeah. they're gonna fund and put money in they're not gonna say it now because then that's when that's gonna pop up on the SEC's radar oh facebook just put 17 billion million dollars into this crypto <laughs> oh, let's go after him like exactly. you know what i mean like we need some of that money too yeah like you know how these companies are waiting for that regulatory clarity before they start announcing all these partnerships and that's when yeah. that's when you're gonna start seeing these prices go crazy that's yeah. that domino effect it's kind of like, it's kind of like uh vra right the partnership <laughs> they're partnered with youtube and esports esports is a billion dollar company yeah. uh, uh, um industry but no one talks about it as like youtube went out to say hey we're part of with vra guys da, da, da. yeah no press releases or anything. nothing they just do it if you know the crypto then you'll know about the partnerships yeah. but you have to physically go look for it it's not just out there like that and i feel like once we have regular a lot of clarity, these big companies are we'll gonna, start to see a lot it's, of it's yeah and it's like if you're a big company and you see this technology damn this technology will help our our mission right you're gonna say hey what do you need from us you guys need money okay we'll give you 15 15 million dollars you guys need our support okay we'll put 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 our logo on your website and we'll do a press release which will then in bring hype to people that like us let's say it's google that like us and say oh google partner with them oh right. i mean this cryptocurrency is potential what is that going to do for the average crypto investor they're going to invest into it it's going it's, it's to increase the profit of that company which that's what the cryptocurrencies are right essentially right. that that money is supposed to help build their utility right right and that's the whole argument of the clarity that's what ripple did ripple was like well we want to create xrp but how do we get the money in well here's some xrp tokens and then yeah. with those tokens the money came in and then that money allowed them to create the bridge currency that like what it is today and then the, the the sec saying hey that's a security but i'm like ethereum did it bitcoin technically did it <laughs> just saying take a look just saying take like how look. else how else are you supposed to have bitcoin you buy the Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, Ethereum. How else are you going to have Ethereum? You buy Ethereum. They had a, they had an initial coin offering, which is the IPO, is initial uh, public off, whatever. Yeah. And then ICO's initial coin offering is, hey, here's some Ethereum for uh, first-time investors to buy some Ethereum and get it started. They did the same thing. You yeah. want to ramp for that it, forever. It, it, yeah, you really but, can, though. But that's just... But that, I'm sorry. The, one thing, the, the one thing that I, that, I, that I see as far as like doing your own research, I know we, we kind of talk about that a lot on this channel, is doing your own research. But once we find like regulatory clarity, I feel like doing your own research will be almost like like dumbed down to a sense of you literally just have to Google like be like just type in Google on the in, in the search bar and then it will tell you like Google partnerships. Oh, and it'll yeah. just tell you all the cryptos think, that are invested yeah, in it. You think, might find a gem like that. Think about all the social media. Look at what happened back in the day. Facebook buys Instagram for two point two billion dollars. You would have been smart to invest in the Facebook at that time. Yep. Or Instagram. Right? yeah and then and then um google buys youtube 
They just that's what's gonna happen. All these yeah. cryptos are gonna get bought by these large corporations, and then it's gonna get to the point where you can't buy the token anymore. You, yeah. you can't afford it unless yeah. you got that money. But if we're gonna get that appreciation. Think about it. it. It happens over and over. History's been doing it forever. Yeah. PayPal yeah. buys this little company, <coughs> right? Yeah. That's why it's important to do your research now, guys, because we're really, really early in this. And once the big wig, the big corporations, like right now, the big corporations can't get in because of stuff like this. Yeah. They you know need, what I'm they saying? Need the, they need yep. the clarity first before they, they put all their eggs in that basket. And um, but once that happens, guys, the average investor, just like an average person, you're not going to be able to get in. Yeah. Like um, Afterpay. I love the company Afterpay. They were bought by Square. Square hmm. bought them. For twenty nine billion dollars. So if you were invested into Square, I mean Square or Afterpay, you would have got some nice price appreciation because that's good news. And then hmm. Afterpay, they announced, hey, we want to use cryptocurrency once regulatory clarity comes in. I'm looking at the article right here. I posted it on our Instagram. But Afterpay hmm. wants to use cryptocurrency, but they're waiting for regulatory clarity, and that's literally another example right there. There, that that is the narrative right <laughs> there. So that means that if Afterpay is using it, what does that mean? Who just bought them? Square. That means Square is gonna inadvertently use them too like it's just it's just a tree like you gotta follow the trees and connect the dots yeah right now you have to you have to go this way to go that way and connect all the dots go down the tunnels and all of that and then you're like oh i have a really great understanding but sooner or later the dots are gonna be so <laughs> you're just gonna be like oh that company's doing that oh all right cool all right but at that point you try to invest in that yeah. company and that unless you're playing with big dollars yeah that is how the gg for you last last little bit before we move on that is how you see the crypto market cap at two trillion the way to get to that 10 trillion dollar uh overall crypto market cap is not through the retail investors that's not there's not enough money from retail investors to do that it's right. gonna come from amazon it's gonna come from google it's gonna come from paypal visa mastercard um big like big corporations multi-billion dollar corporations like elon musk Tesla buying $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin and blew up to $64,000. Yeah. Yeah. Right? It's 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 going to take those large companies and that's where it's going to go and people need to realize like, hey, you retail investors are right now, you guys have the moment. But after that, once it's flipped, we, they're not going to care about you anymore. So exactly. all this talking and everyone arguing on Twitter, like you guys are going to be my, they're going to take it over like they did the stock market. Exactly. Then you're going to be in the ones that bought in early and just held, you will have a say because you're yeah. going to be like, hey, I have the price appreciation. I'm worth over six figures. I'm worth a million dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then the people that are like, that got like 10 tokens here, five tokens here, you're not going to matter. The, the real time investors aren't going to take crypto to where it's going to go. It's going to be it's gonna machine. be big corporations yeah. yeah big corporations all right guys we went on our mini rant right, but it. hopefully you guys <laughs> enjoyed that <laughs> moving on we talk about ada a lot man and now binance has officially said that they will support cardano's hard fork uh that's coming out on the 12th which is alonzo now um binance did say that they're going to halt deposits and withdrawals of the cardano token approximately 30 minutes before the hard fork um it's set to go uh, live september 12th around 2145 utc which i'm not sure what that, that is, is um, i never understand what utc i don't yeah i don't i don't understand utc but um 21 is nine i believe is it nine, nine? yeah not sure, but uh, you would have to you would have to convert twenty one forty five UTC into whatever time it is for you. Um, but thirty minutes before that time, whatever that yeah, is for you, nine forty five um, in the morning or afternoon. Uh, that's nine at uh, night. Nine p.m. Okay, so nine p.m. on September twelfth for for uh, Pacific Standard Time um, on the twelfth. So thirty minutes before then, you will not be able to deposit or withdraw but it does not suspend trading so if you want to buy and sell you still can do that um it just halts uh deposits and withdrawals so just guys give you some understanding about that but that's pretty cool that binance is actually yeah. uh supporting I cardano i think um coinbase said something that they're gonna do it too i remember seeing be, someone like coinbase is gonna be ready to support them but i mean that's good that cardano is getting support. All the support yeah i feel like this is gonna be one of those i'm telling you i, I think i said this like um, two weeks ago a lot of people are saying that oh cardano is uh is is, is it's a buy the rumors sell, sell the, the news, news type yeah moment and i'm like i think this is gonna be one of the ones that's gonna be the opposite it's gonna be the you one that's so? hey this actually is gonna happen i just feel like so many people are like 
well, I already have my Cardano. I already made money off of it. I don't care. Like, they're already taking profit. Like, people don't support Cardano. A lot of people don't support Cardano. Yeah. I'm like, dude, this guy has been building this for five years. Why do you think that he's just going to drop this project that is his baby and it's just going to go, wah, wah. It's like, oh, well, I give up now. Do you think that's going to, do you really think that's going to happen? It's like Elon Musk. It's like Elon Musk dropping Tesla and the first Tesla, like, he drives it and the battery blows up and he just says, all right, well, Tesla's done. Yeah. Like no, like Tesla did fail. He, even SpaceX, he said he's like my first rocket ship blew up, my second rocket ship blew up, and he's like I was on my third one, and this one blew up. We would have bank been bankrupt. Oh, it worked. Yeah, but you it, know I, what I mean. I mean, even his self driving cars, a lot of people got in accidents behind it and all that stuff, but it didn't stop them. Yeah, I just so. don't see. I don't see long term someone like Cardano just letting it flop, and then it's, it's a number three ranked crypto, and all of a sudden like oh Cardano's trash, and then it just that this my brain doesn't want me to say hey that's gonna happen i'm like dude cardano is gonna be freaking dominant like but i mean even <laughs> if even if it does have a pushback yeah. it's gonna be fine man it's, yeah. at the end of the day it's gonna be fine i, I like charles hawkins I, yeah. I, he's been doing like this is his baby this is his literal baby he's been building this he's been manifesting this not people were hating on him saying this is never gonna work he's been five years you couldn't even launch smart contract look at ethereum look at solana they're all blowing up I'm like, yeah, yeah but look at ethereum every time I, a high volume comes yeah. in, like eh, it I, glitches like eh, 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 eh. People fud and like smart contracts don't even work, and then people are all like, I see comment people making twi uh, TikTok videos saying like, oh, Instagram, Car Cardano well. is gonna don't don't just sell before September twelfth. It's gonna flop. It's gonna flop. I'm like, those people don't understand. Like they just think short term. Yeah, you know, I mean, buying the rumor, sell the news is a, is an important thing when you're when you're looking at dates like this, you know, because there are whales in there that will specifically yeah. target target. All right. Cardano's doing what on the 12th? All right, cool. People think they're going to get appreciation. We're going to dump. You know, we're going to start selling. And, 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 it causes and, fear. And people think know? that something. And then people are going to be like, oh, my God. Something's wrong. Sell, something's wrong. Sell. Yeah. And then they're just going to buy back in. Oh, whoop, whoop. Whales just, just become more whales. And that's just literally how it happens, bro. Just so. wait for the NFTs and then all the dApps and all the yeah. stable coins. There's going to be stable coins built on Cardano. There's going to be NFTs launching on Cardano. There's if Cardano be... ends up going down, buy the dip, yep. bro. Because <laughs> and not financial advice or anything but buy the dip you know what i'm saying and use that money and play with it if you really don't want the appreciation of cardano use it to play with the nfts bro the, the nft space is already out yeah. for cardano i don't know what it is specifically There's, right now um i don't want to just put that out yeah. there and be like this is where you I'm go gonna i'm gonna see. wait to see you know what i'm saying what, once we find out we'll give you that what, information what uniswap is gonna be built on Cardano? quote unquote what uniswap what usdt is gonna be built on cardano yeah you know usdc is the, to is the token that everyone uses to say hey i'm gonna send you usdt and then you can use it and you it's the middleman right you you whatever token you have you convert it to usdt and then you convert that usdt to another token right people yeah. always do that yeah and especially on KuCoin. that's gonna exist on cardano that process is gonna exist what is that gonna do to the cardano's value it's, people are gonna be using cardano that's it's called an ecosystem token look at solana Ooh. that's what's <laughs> happening with solana right now that's what solana they have their ecosystem over two hundred dollars yeah, solana man. will probably make their own stable coins soon, or someone will build a stable coin on solana yeah pretty interesting pretty interesting all right guys moving on to the tweets of the day now as you guys know you should be familiar with quant mommy by now she literally she talk about don't. her like all the time man because she just puts out fire she just needs to change her her name from chili chiller to i just i just don't miss or something <laughs> yeah, that i'm gonna cool. cut cut that out and send it to her like you should just change your name to vxv mommy slash i just don't miss <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that that's all she needs to say People go, oh yeah <laughs> i mean it's prevalent everybody loves vxv mommy but she said folks are beginning to realize that vxv is quant at 13 dollars. remember when i said the same tweet four months ago when it was at 80 cents Phew. Phew. yeah it's uh you know it's it's tweets like this man are, are interesting to me because um it's more so like validation like hey guys i was telling you this at 80 cents it was good but you didn't listen to me or yeah. you just thought i was a uh, tin hat you know and Schiller, like and and now you now everyone's like fomoing in to buy vxv at 13 all time high you know what i'm saying i mean so, we we were kind of late 80 cents i wish we knew 80 cents yeah we didn't see this at we 80 saw cents. it at a dollar or something but we didn't pull we the did trigger our research on it three dollars after we finished doing research boop, three dollars we're like oh, it was too fast it was, it was too, literally yeah. like four days literally four days yeah and we were like oh man it started hit four and i was telling mike i was like 
bro to be honest let's just get as much as can be for five bucks that's the goal and that's how i like to invest into certain cryptos like this i'm like before five bucks and then it changed to 10 bucks that's how fast it was within two three weeks yeah. oh you got to think of it as already a ten dollar crypto yep and then boom hit 13 14 dollars i'm like well <laughs> Yep, <laughs> and he would say eight bucks and i was like bro it's 10 yeah, remember I I you eight. really were like eight bucks eight bucks eight. and i was like i mean i think it's eight bucks but i think it's gonna be 10 that's blew up to 14. yeah he, he, like, no we would have if we would have betted money yeah he, he would have won like, no now this is just a, this next tweet is um another like manifestation so uh vxv quant king he said on august 15th he said a solid 100x would put vxv at a 18 billion dollar market cap in five to 10 years when Bitcoin is far in the trillions. VXV doesn't even have to be top 40, which is kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, VXV has a unique use case and only 10 million in supply after buybacks. Now the buyback uh, situation um, is the, I've, I've heard it in two different ways, but for one of the ways that I heard it was that the devs will be buying, cause there's 50 million tokens in supply, yeah, right? They're gonna, they're gonna buy 40 million of it um when you know when people buy and sell and things of that nature, when they sell million, yeah and whatever's um, circulating that's not in wallets right the liquidity of it so yeah, whatever's so left buy, over they're gonna yeah, buy all of that they're gonna so accumulate those and then keeps lock the price away. stable you know what i'm saying it doesn't fluctuate as as, as it's, bad it's a similar to a, a burn but people there's a lot of people out there that are you know the worry worry uh what's worry that? warts yeah the war warts like ooh, ooh, why don't they burn them why are they holding on to them they're gonna market manipulation I'm like no they're just they're holding them just in case they never need liquidity and they'll put it back in but that sounds crazy some people think that's crazy but they're not gonna burn them and you can't re remake any more tokens that could that could damage a project yeah especially, if you just burn yeah. tokens and then all of a sudden the tokens are gone and then you need more liquidity like that can mess up a pro so they're gonna buy them back lock them away and then but they can use them reuse them if needed right, right. uh XR, ripple does that whatever. ripple does that that's why they're called oh, it's not it's not decentralized at that point i'm like it is because it's not in the market it's you you'll see if they're playing around with the cryptos yeah, everything you'll, is public yeah you'll see if public. hey we saw vxv load up two million dump two million on the market and the price mess with the price like they, you, they'll know that that's gonna happen and the u.s wants to work with them the the, the u.s says hey come set up shop they're not you guys gotta look at the bigger picture these right. this company is going to help make a lot of people money yeah it's all about money they're but gonna, not even just money innovation innovation is you yeah innovation and then obviously greed is another thing it's gonna help nasa it's gonna help um hedge funds it's gonna help innovation ai technology it's gonna help all that stuff it's gonna help a lot so of things the the owner or the creator ceo of vxv says hey we don't want a retail investor to cause market manipulation which is a whale so we're gonna we're gonna buy up all these we're gonna be the whale. And the thing that's crazy is that if you think about it this is it, it's not it makes it in quote unquote centralized that is what the big boys want the government yeah they don't like DeFi. they don't like decentralization because they can't control it why well, i think they're suing everybody yeah gary gary glenson wants it wants they, they it believe it, it, it this sucks to say but the cryptos that say like hey we're down with working with you guys and being centralized or whatever the case may be right those are the ones that are going to directly survive because the, the government's gonna have their back like oh well i mean at least there's someone we can uh play with talk to or talk to negotiate have understanding with. Yeah. if it's decentralized it's just like oh we're gonna sue you and you, all these people are making money and we can't have too many rich people around here like it that's what crypto cracked the code yeah and these these government officials they don't know what to do they're freaking out they don't know what to do they're freaking out but uh just about two hours ago he said if you followed this advice back on the 15th of august you have already you would have already tripled your money a one thousand dollar investment on august 15th would now be worth three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars don't miss the boat on vxv time is a major factor dang bro man those, those buybacks will increase the price it will make it more scarce than quant because quant has 12 million yeah and, and if they, the buybacks do happen by the time they're done and it's only 10 million tokens left and like we said there's only 240,000 quants left yeah and we saw exactly. vg was already running out on quite like once <laughs> those two tokens can change your life the funny thing about it though when uh quant goes to a thousand dollars it would have a market cap of like six billion which will put it at like the top 30. and according to this gentleman here if um <coughs> vxv um wouldn't even be wouldn't even be uh in the top four doesn't even need to be in the top 40 so 
you know, there's some some clarity and understanding there. But this is a tweet that John um, liked on uh, on Twitter, and I thought was pretty interesting that I want to show you guys really quickly. But it basically is saying Amazon fell from $110 to $11 before going to $3,000 a share. Bitcoin dropped from $20,000 to under $4,000 before going to $60,000. Tesla went from 300 to 180 before it went to 2000. The trick isn't just picking the right investments, it's holding them. Yeah, that's all it is. That's all it is. If you guys. believe in it, you hold it. That's like, I'm not even going to rant on that. If you believe in the project, you hold it. Why, why, why are you trying to time and sell and profit? Think long term. Yeah. Think long term. Exactly. Because we're so early. 100%. All right, moving on to the market gainers and losers, guys. As you guys can see right now, let me refresh really quickly. We talked about Bitcoin, but let's go to the 24 hour chart. See who's at the top. Algorand sitting at the top at that $2.44. Yeah, Good balling. for you, buddy. Algo is like part of that whole ecosystem, the ISO 20,022. Yeah. With the uh, XDC, XRP, XLM. Um, what else is in there? Like, uh, there's a, um, there's like I a bunch. Of, I mean, can't I don't think of like, the top of my head. Yeah, but they're in, that, they're in that ecosystem of getting the banks and, 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 and the, the elites ready for the shift. Yeah. Good, to, good, yeah. good for Algorand. Algorand is one of those. Elrond finally peaked over that two two hundred uh, dollar range. So. Been, that thing has been settling under 180, 160, yeah. 150. Good for them, man. For a while, they had a, they announced space. a partnership today. Yeah, they did. They uh, I put that in. Oh the, yeah, uh, I don't know if you want. I mean, I yeah, like, I, I, I put it see. in the Discord, so I'm not gonna shill it here. But I I put it in the Discord. If you guys, I put all the information on how you do all your research and everything. I gave you all the articles so you could do yeah. your own research. You found a hidden gem. Or and something, um, right? yeah, I checked it out. I'm I think it out so. Right here. I think so. You know, so they just join the Discord. Everything. Join the Discord definitely a best way to uh to join the discord guys now vxv uh yesterday we talked about it, it was sitting at ten dollars now it's back up yeah. to 12 so congratulations on that um vra is up again i bought that dip at that three uh three cents so you know i'm up again i've been always up on on vra i'm just <laughs> accumulating at this point um hadera hashcraft was sitting at i think 28 cents if i'm not mistaken yeah, it's back up now no, no back it's all-time highs i think I, i'm is not 100 sure i don't it's been a while since i looked at the all-time i don't know Let's see, all time high. Nah, forty four. Oh, never mind. Forty four. But hey, wrong. it's getting close. It's getting close. Yeah, it's, it's close as it's ever been in a long time. It's getting close. So at least it's past thirty. Yeah, exactly. Because yesterday was it was under yeah. thirty. So people are happy on it. Um, right. Elf was the one that John called uh, a couple of weeks ago. So this one is still up as well. Congratulations. They announced on that. something on uh, Coin Telegraph last night. I don't know if you saw it. I didn't know. They have a. Uh, it's like they had like their own little sponsored section, and I was. I'm like, oh, wow. excited, but you can go okay. ahead until I find it. Um, Crypto.com is is heading towards that twenty cents back where it was uh, originally. Um, yesterday it fell back down to about sixteen fifteen cents. So, um, you know, CRO, good for them, man. Happy for them. CRO is good. Alliance Block is um is now past that one dollar. That's it the went, next one, guys. It went underneath it, uh, so now it's at a dollar eleven. So it looks like a full steam ahead for Alliance Block. Alliance so. Block is the next one, my, uh, not financial advice. It's the next one to add to your portfolio to accumulate if you don't want to. If you feel like you missed the VXV boat and the Quant boat, yeah. Alliance Block is the next one, and the one right after the, that will be DAG and Elf. In my opinion, right. my opinion in regards of taking off, just taking off and going 20, 10 bucks, ten. Well, anytime, you know what I mean? anytime you hear VXV. You're always gonna hear quant. Whenever mm -hmm. you hear quant and VXV, you're always gonna hear ALBT. Yep. If you don't, they part with Elrond too. If you hear all three of them, the next one is U UOS. UOS. But and then DAG. To be completely honest with you guys, I have not looked into UOS, so I'm you not I'm a little not, bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you. Oh yeah, get into US. I don't US. think I'm going to. I don't. I don't know anything about it, guys. I'm. I'm gonna uh, keep it a hundred stacks. I don't know anything about it. But I don't when think you hear these, you will hear that as well. I don't think we have a problem with UOS. It's just no, we don't. We just our, don't know our focus about it. is on these ones that we've did so much research, like exactly. Alliance Block, VXV is something that I really want to dollar cost average into. But then Alliance Block is also one I'm, I want to stack because like, I have a good amount. But I'm gonna get. I'm trying to get more. Like I, I'm trying to get as much as I can before it hits three, four dollars. And then right. this thing is chain link put two point oh. Yeah. Shout out to Dante DeFi. He he said that same thing. Yeah. Uh, Dante DeFi's interview is going to be coming out tomorrow, guys. So Tomorrow, um, noon, PST, right? Yeah, you guys should and definitely just, check just that out. Just watch it. You're going to be sitting on the YouTube. Yeah, pretty dope, guys. 
Um, the graph, like I said, man, it's been disappointing me lately. Um, dipping under that dollar. That's what Telco does to me. But uh, you know, Telcoin. it is what it is, brother. No offense. To uh, me. engines doing pretty good as well. Cardano, we spoke about earlier. Green. Zillica is doing good. V Chain still consolidating. Um, XCC is is kind of low, but hey, it's still up right now. Do we have anything red? Nope. Just Only thing is red is DAG. So I mean, th if if you were if you were thinking about getting into DAG, um, you know, wouldn't be a bad opportunity to uh, lower your average or to hop in, not financial advice or anything like that. Now, Quan is saying it's down at one. Well, it was saying it was down, but three hundred uh, consolidation is a nice <laughs> number to be at if exactly. you bought in under a hundred bucks. Exactly. Imagine, like imagine people did. buying in at $24 quant or $78 quant or even $150 quant. You would still have doubled your money from the time. You'd still be happy. You know what I'm saying? You, so, wouldn't, you would just, that, that, that would be a solid base crypto. Yeah. Like we've been saying. That is a base. 100%. Quant is a legit base. VXV is another base crypto. Yeah. Even though it's only like $13, if you have like 100, 200 VXV, that's a solid base. That, especially if you have bought it under when we were you know talking about it, three bucks right yeah yeah you man. would have over a thousand dollars if you had at least like a hundred and that's a nice and that's a nice start you know what i'm saying <laughs> you can you could take basically a three hundred dollar investment to a thousand dollar investment to uh ten thousand dollars and then take that 10 and, and make 30 50 yeah. 100 200 500 million 10 million you know what i'm saying it's once you have the opportunity to grow your portfolio and you start to really see where crypto can take you the sky's the limit you're just gonna be like like bro i gotta i gotta research these tokens i gotta figure out which you know which one is doing what what company is gonna help grow you know tenfold with you know helping the world be a better place you gotta you, your your mind is just gonna go there automatically and when you start doing all your research man like me and john you guys think that we just do this youtube channel just for us no we do this channel because we're literally doing this stuff every single day john posts on our TikTok, on our instagram on our uh twitter every single day we post on youtube every single day you know what i'm saying so if you don't find value here on our youtube channel then you go go follow our twitter go follow our TikTok, go follow our instagram i guarantee you you will find value some in, in one of these and if for some weird crazy reason you don't there's always a discord man so Join it's us free. On the Discord. All of it is free. Join it's not like we're saying, hey, pay us 20 bucks. To, no, it's all free. Yeah. So join free us, information. Join us on our Discord <laughs> if you want to be around like minded people, man. Have that good information. Um, I just posted a, a, a potential. That's like uh, one of his first. Yeah, it's my first post in the Discord. So you guys better get in on that. I mean, he don't post much. Yeah, exactly. you don't. I was giving him crap the other day. I was going ham on him. Like, hey, why you want to post? This? I was trying. <laughs> I was being a little jerk to him the yeah. other day about it, and he finally posted one. I was like, "Yeah, yeah." So I posted so, one. I posted one in the Discord today. I gave you all <laughs> of the information you need to do your own research. Um, I did put a disclaimer out there. I am not in it right now um, because I am still currently doing my research um, on it. So I just want to give you guys that information. So you know, take it how you want it and leave it if you don't. All right. So follow us on all yeah. of our socials, Cryptologic Podcast. It's all the same for Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And then follow us in our Discord. And did you have something? Yeah, the all the winners have been uh, spoken to. We got we got oh we got yeah. the, the other two. Yeah, the Satish oh, got nice, his nice. his uh, hundred dollars, and then um, Brandon got his code. He already got he already purchased the chain. Oh, he did. Nice. Yeah, and then nice. um, Akeem um he he re we gave him the information and he reached back and said oh thank you and he hasn't bought it yet but he has it already so uh the winners they're all they're all uh got their, their gifts cool their congratulations giveaways. guys and then uh the next one you know we'll we'll let you guys know what the next one is and i hope everyone had a you know like like in, had a good experience with it on the live and, yeah man you know we're trying to get back so subscribe to, to subscribe to the channel man like subscribe. the button like, hit the like button by like the button <laughs> hit the, the like, like button. button that helps us populate exactly you know? it, it allows for other people to see the message all right take care guys see you in the next one peace out